Hi, it's Thursday night, and I'm actually going to head for bed. That's how late it is, but I'm watching some YouTube. Have I mentioned lately how much I don't like music? <laughs> don't drown out your vlog with music. Just do your vlog. Uh, that's why I like go the opposite end of the spectrum. I like hardly put any music in there at all. I guess depending on where they are, maybe they wanted to put it on to drown out copyrighted music, but still... I mean, right now they're in the store. They're not even trying. Good morning, it is Friday. My ride's gonna be here any minute to take me to the bank. Normally I would be doing this on a Saturday, but uh, as you might remember from last week, I went to the bank on Saturday and I didn't have a penny to work with as far as like taking care of these bills that should not have happened, but they did and now I've gotta make them right moving money around. I mean, I I mean, I moved a little bit of money around, but not much. Nowhere near enough to take care of everything I needed to take care of. The money, of course, waited until Monday to materialize. So now here it is Friday, the first opportunity I have to deal with stuff like conveniently, and I'm going to get some of this stuff taken care of finally. I'll see you when I get there. Thank you. The first thing I want to do is find out what all... Let's see. I know there was one check that materialized on Monday. Was there another check that's materialized since? First thing I want to do is write a cashier's check I feel really good about the progress that was made today. I'm prepared to pay February, April, and even May. Uh, unless they want to call it February, April, and March, but then where would May come from? I mean, no. It's February, April, and May. August is what? I'm not quite sure where that's going to come from. We're going to have to figure something out about that, but... Um, yeah, uh, they both rematerialized over this week. It is really easy to mistake what should have been money with money that exists now. <sighs> but this stuff shouldn't happen again. I should know what's going on with my money because it's either auto-paid straight from the account or... I paid it through the these cashier's checks because with rent that's how it's going to be paid from now on. The convenience of auto pay was not worth the well god did that money really get where it was supposed to be that transpired. I'm feeling better about this now than I have since the whole thing started. Not only was I able to deliver those myself, I was able to actually talk to the manager's assistant and I mean at this point February, April, and May have been taken care of. Now it's just that old August payment that no one bothered to tell me about that we have to figure out how to make right. And then, um, I mean, I'm sure we'll, she'll come up with a payment plan, I'll agree to it, and, and it'll work out. You know, the good thing about a weekend is there's really no obligation. I mean, it's a good time to vlog, but it's also a good time to just kind of relax. That makes for a really uneventful vlog, but 
then I mean, good. I mean, it might be easier to edit if there's not as much going on on it. <laughs> so what I mean to say is it's Friday night at like 630 and I'm not expecting anything else to happen today. I don't even know if anything's going to happen the whole weekend <laughs> worth vlogging. Of course, even the stuff that I have vlogged, I don't know if it's worth vlogging, but I've vlogged it. Okay, you know, I guess I'll vlog about this. So I just tried using my Braille Sense. Sorry to those of you who are not into technology for the blind and have no idea what I'm about to talk about, but <laughs> that's probably a lot of people. But to anyone who actually does know what I'm talking about, I just tried connecting my Braille Sense U2 to my phone. And although it had its moments of doing some cool stuff. Uh, I'm just not impressed enough with it to like replace my U-Tooth, U-Tooth, Bluetooth keyboards with that. Uh, first of all, I called, I made the phone call that got me and one of my teachers talking about potentially using this machine to as an input device and I was able to connect to the automated system that I wanted to connect to but when I tried to enter numbers into that system it wasn't taking so that's a no-go and then well, I don't know if I'm going to talk about this like in a lot of detail about how it fell short, but I'm just, yeah, I tried it. It didn't, I tried it. I wasn't impressed. I don't know if I need to go back and play with more settings or if it's just the nature of the thing, but I'm not probably going to be doing that, which, well, I had thought about it, but now that I've tried it a time or two, I don't know that I'm going to be doing it again. What do you guys do, especially those of you who can't see the numbers that you're about to tap on your iPhone? Um, when you're dealing with these automated phone systems that doesn't let me take the time to peck around the keyboard trying to find the right number, how do you manipulate those systems? when you have an iPhone. Frankly, as a blind person, that's just, it's better to make those calls with a push button phone. <sighs> I talk about not having enough money to spare, not having enough money to save, not having enough money for all of this. And I spend more money on cell phones, for example, than I probably should. Um, and I am going to be willing to look at ways to change that. But part of why I have, I, one of the phones I have is a push button phone that now has decided it's not willing to work with me anymore. And I'm either going to need to get a new one or cancel that one. But I was talking to my teacher about this. I'm like, how do you deal with those things? And she said, well, what I actually have is a landline. Yeah, I got rid of my landline a long time ago. But if these cell phone push button phones are either going to be difficult to find or difficult to get to keep working, I'm really disappointed in this this push button phone from it's called a blind shell maybe it's because I'm using the older one but you know it's sad I'm not they cost more than your regular flip phones but they 
have a lot of talking features, which obviously I need as a blind person. But this one just decided it was going to do what the first one did. Um, get slow on me to where I can hit a button and it won't register. And when I'm on my banking phone system, I don't have time for that nonsense. So... I'm going to be in the market for a new phone for like the second time in what, a year and a half, two years? Not happy. I just like having buttons on a phone when it comes to those kind of systems. And trying to use the Braille Sense to manipulate that system obviously is not going to work, so. Yeah, so much for that idea. It probably wasn't a bad idea, but it's just not meant to be, I guess. Hi everyone, it is Saturday, like Saturday night. The whole day is almost, it's like six something Saturday night. I have, you know, I think I might have said this earlier. The good thing about the weekend is that you can just take time to do whatever you want. And, you know, you're not under obligation to anyone really. And you can just kind of do your own thing. And that's great. And it's not really, I won't even say it's not vloggable. Why would you want to vlog that? You know, if you're just taking time for yourself, doing your own thing, enjoying yourself, why would you want to vlog that? <laughs> um, why would people want to watch that? You don't want to vlog it. You just want to do your own thing. And that's kind of the place that I've been a lot of today <laughs> and yesterday too. So this vlog might turn out to be pretty lame, pretty short, pretty whatever, but I'll probably go ahead and post it just because, I guess just because even posting anything is better than not posting anything at all, right? Um, and like I've said before, it would be great if this YouTube thing would turn into something of a money maker. But if it doesn't, I understand that too, because first of all, it sounds like even if you ever could monetize, even if I ever could monetize, uh, you almost kind of need someone who knows a lot about monetization to get it set up. It's not like you can, it's not like you get an email necessarily that says, Congratulations, you now live up to our crazy threshold that allows you to monetize. It wouldn't say crazy threshold, but these are my words. Congratulations, you you finally have gotten your channel up to the threshold that you thought was impossible, so now you are eligible for monetization. Go to monetize.youtube.com or whatever the website might be, and click on the box to monetize your channel again. It's not that easy. Um, from what I understand, it is a little complicated. Um, and it would be great if I could, and it's gonna take me God only knows how long to make that happen because I don't make videos that the YouTube algorithm likes. Videos that the YouTube algorithm likes are camera based. Nine tenths of my videos are audio recorder slash still photo based and the other tenth are made on a phone with the camera pointing God knows where. Um, probably can't see much and that's just the way it is because if I've said it once, I've said it a million times, I'm blind, I don't relate to visuals, I don't care. And there are some ways that I live in a sighted world and I kind of have to care what things look like from a visual standpoint, but as far as I'm concerned, the content that I create is not one of them. 
if you don't like my content, if you don't like to listen to my content, then you don't like my content because it's, it's audio based. It's about what you can hear. So how did I get off on that ta tangent? Where was I going with that? I was saying that it would be nice if YouTube could be a moneymaker, but I don't know if it ever will be. But if I'm going to establish myself on YouTube to whatever extent, posting something is better than posting nothing, right? So even a vlog like this one, I guess is worth posting. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Sunday and I have not vlogged all day and I'll probably end the vlog here. There's not a lot of point in putting this out. <laughs> there probably isn't. In fact, I might just title this, can you really call this a vlog? <laughs> but sometimes when you have days off of work, you just need to, like I said, do your own thing. Not have to worry about anything, just do what you want. And uh, that's kind of been this weekend. Nothing was wrong specifically, it's just maybe I've been so concerned about finances lately and getting the biggest problems taken care of has just been such a relief that I've just kind of celebrated by just saying, yeah, let me know when I actually have to worry about something or like pay attention to something and until then I'm just going to do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you just don't want to vlog when that's happening. I think I'm repeating myself. Didn't I say something like this yesterday? I'm going to end this vlog, if you can call it a vlog, here. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Check out Ira. Check out Shipped. Um, neither Ira nor Shipped sponsors these videos. They're just things that I like and I... I probably should include Fetch Rewards in that too. Um, I have a referral link, I just don't share it in my uh, description thing yet. Fetch Rewards is an app where you can, if you know how to take pictures and like to take pictures, you can take pictures of your receipts and if you don't like to take pictures like me you can connect your fetch rewards account to your Amazon account your Target account your I guess Walgreens account I'm not sure what all the accounts are that you can use but and of course your shipped account <laughs> I do that all the time. I get groceries and then push my e-receipt just to a fetch. And when you collect enough points, you can get gift cards. I should add my fetch um, link to my description because that's awesome too. Um, check out Ira, check out Shipped, check out those things that are in the description. I am waiting to update my description until I actually get my website, uh, my new and improved website. I'm looking to get rid of that, anberdine.com, and switch to an easier, shorter website that is has more on it. Uh, but I'm still kind of waiting for that to come to well, it's not going to come to pass by itself, but I'm going to check in with my webmaster and find out what the status is. Um, anyway, if you want to check out the website that I have, <laughs> feel free. <laughs> um, and you'll hear from me in the next video. Bye.